Coming up next only on Nightline, our series Boom Nation on the red-hot real estate market. This time, Manhattan edition. We go downtown with the hotshot broker Michael Schvo, who's selling luxury condos to the richest of the rich. How he got to the top of the game. Tonight on Nightline, Boom Nation meet the brash young real estate assassin, selling lavish dream apartments to clients with money to burn. When you see a photo of the New York skyline, these are buildings that I made happen. The view from the top of the white hot housing market. From the global resources of ABC News, with Terry Moran in Washington, and Martin Bashir and Cynthia McFadden in Times Square, New York, this is Nightline, February 10th, 2006. And just ahead on Nightline, Boom Nation, the heights of luxury at the top of the red hot housing market. Meet the cocky young broker who's selling dreams to the richest of the rich. Now to our series on America's real estate boom. Tonight, the view from the top. The housing boom has inspired legions of people to become realtors. It's the new American gold rush. But only very few have attained the success of the brash young man that you're about to meet. And where else would you meet him but here in New York's Manhattan, where real estate prices are literally ridiculous. It's part of our series, Boom Nation. Yeah, it's okay. We're doing, we're doing higher, higher floors. Uh, hold on. We're doing higher floors. Uh... Welcome to the world of Michael Schvo. Once a broker, now a businessman, always a big talker. Michael, Tony's in front. Okay. In 2003, 2004, I was the top broker in New York, which means I made the most amount of money in one given year. He arrived in New York 10 years ago and discovered the streets were paved with properties he could sell. At the end of a year when you did your tax return for your most successful year, how much did you think you banked? I don't remember. 10 million? No. More? No. Less than 10 million? Less. 5 million? I, I, I really don't remember. He grew up mainly in Israel in a family of academics, but Shvo himself never finished college. He started as a stockbroker. He then emigrated to America at age 23 and began to ride a real estate wave that has since grown by 140%. Coming here was kind of a dream for me, and you know, I had a business in Israel one day, just decided I'm leaving everything and coming to New York. All of this seems a very long way from a young man arriving in New York from Tel Aviv with a suitcase and three thousand dollars in cash. Well it's a long way but you know this is America. It's, it's, it's where these things can, can happen. It's where dreams can come true and my, my take on this is it's really hard work. He settled on a business without any academic challenges joining around ten thousand other real estate brokers in the city. Was the attraction partly that you didn't need any qualifications. Anybody can be a real estate broker. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's probably easier to be a real estate broker than to be a taxi driver. And I just worked and worked and worked and showed apartments and showed apartments. And Longer hours than your colleagues? Until very recently, I used to work 18 hours a day. I said I haven't slept for a week, so I, 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 if you ask me what day today is, I can't even tell you. Armed with several mobile phones, Schvo yeah. is always doing deals, right. and it's easy to see why. Last oh, yeah. year, the average apartment in Manhattan cost $1.3 million, and brokers make an average commission of 5%. Did work become an obsession? Absolutely. Absolutely. It, but it drives you. I mean, the deal, the, you, you thrive on the kind of on the deal making, on things happening, on on, you know, on, make, on getting people what they want, on being able to have a conversation with somebody and, you know, boom, in 10 minutes, finding them in the right apartment. Like, Give me this package, this apartment, this let me move in. This is, for instance, the one bedroom. He never ceases to attribute his success to sheer dogged hard work. But some industry insiders tell a very different story. Thanks, Joe. Okay. Thanks. In order to succeed as a broker, did you ever bend any rules? We, didn't, we never bend any rules. We always, the, the one thing I always made sure is we knew all the rules. So. You, you never push the envelope? Pushing the envelope and bending a rule is two very different things. Did you ever bend the rules? Bend the rules? I did not. Pushing the envelope doesn't mean doing anything that's not right. It means that we did everything 
to the max to get a deal happen. Sell them on the concept. We need to explain this is what this building is. Brokers are supposed to abide by the codes of the Real Estate Board of New York. Schwo was accused of not sharing listings with fellow brokers and of poaching their clients. Why do many of your competitors say that you do not abide by the rules, didn't as a broker, and you regularly cheated? You know, I can't really speak for what other people say. All I could tell you is, you why, know, why I'm, in my, I'm in my mid-30s. In, in a very, very short period of time, I became the most successful broker in New York. That's, I mean, beyond that, I think it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. I can't control other people's emotions, other people's feelings. Just so I understand it, you're saying that their comments about you not abiding by the rules are based entirely on their jealousy of you. I, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying.